<laughs> What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I just witnessed another upset. This is boxing, the sport that I love, that I hate so much, and I love it because things are so unpredictable in this sport. Okay, Julian J. Rock Williams, you know, a lot of people were sleeping on him. They thought that because Jared Swift Heard was able to uh, bully Irislandi Lada, he was going to do the same thing to J. Rock Williams. And on top of that, J. Rock Williams was beaten by Jermel, or should I say Jamal Charlo, you know, and I feel that his game plan was wrong with Jamal Charlo. Um, and, you know, he is a part of that snack program. So keep that in mind. You know, that keeps him. Uh, he's one of the uh, the host or the representatives of that uh, vitamin brand. OK, um, J. Rock Williams, you know, he humbled himself. I think Jamal kind of did him shitty, didn't really want to. Uh, congratulate him after and he's mentioning something like that uh, if he beats Tony Harrison you know and I'll get to that later but back to Julie um, J-Rock <laughs> J-Rock showed what J-Rock was about he showed that any fighter and he was undefeated mind you when he did fight Charlo uh, any fighter can come back and make amends you know a loss is a good thing for certain fighters not everybody can be like Floyd Mayweather okay junior you know, it takes humbleness. It takes, you know, the loss to let you show where you need to work on and what you need to um, polish to come back into the ring, retrain, rethink, rebuild, and come back and keep fighting. Now, this fight was exciting. I was really surprised that uh, Jared Swift heard was slow as he was. You know, Julian Rock Williams has always been a fast combination fighter, and he showed a lot of that. In the Charlo fight, you know, but he just exploited those holes. He did what he needed to do in this fight. He worked the jab. He fought behind the jab. He started strong and he ended strong. That's the that's the thing about J. Rock Williams. And I looked at this fight. I was like, man, you know, this is a good matchup. You know, I just I was able to uh, get a look at it. So I'm breaking it with you guys. I know this is going to be a while, maybe later today before I could upload this. So, um... <sighs> I don't think this fight was intended to go this way, honestly. But this happens when you're dealing with boxing, you know. Um, the unpredictable, the unpredicting factor in all this is that you won't see Jermall Charlo fighting <laughs> uh, Jermell Charlo unless Tony Harrison beats him again. But if they do fight, it won't be for any belts because the belts will be with other champions and other guys so um no i'm excited about it man because you know this could happen all year long with other fighters okay so um i'm proud of jay rock williams it just shows you that you know anything's possible in the sport of boxing you know despite the corruption and that's the thing there was no corruption the scorecards were exactly like the fight portrayed and that's what I love about it. Sometimes certain fights are not in the fix. Certain fights will be played out the way they are played out when they don't have heavy politics attached to them. Okay, so this is a very good sign for J. Rock Williams. The question is, where does he go from here? Remember, um, Jared Swift Heard is one of those fighters that he was mandated to fight at Islandi Lara. So I think and I project that. Maybe Lara will get that shot at Julie and J-Rock Williams for that unified title at 154, okay? So, I don't know. You guys tell me. I'll leave some uh, highlight, highlight links below. Let you guys check out the highlights at least. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys can counterpunch. Peace.